Uh, quickly on uh, austerity, I'll, I'll move to Ukraine after that. Uh, the Secretary issued a statement this morning saying that we have repeatedly offered to find a way to bring him home. And of course, can you please provide with, uh, more details demonstrating you know, what you mean by that? Uh, when I'm did not you offer going to, to home and when last time? I'm, I'm not going to do that, um, Alex, for the very reason that these are um, uh, issues are, are sensitive. What I can say, and I will just echo what um, the, the Secretary said, is that uh, for more than a quarter of his life, Austin has been uh, separated from his family and uh, held in unknown conditions. We know that the Syrian government um, has held Austin, um, and uh, we have repeatedly offered to find a way to bring them home. Um, we also believe that the um, Syrian government uh, can help uh, end Austin's captivity and provide an accounting of uh, not just um, his whereabouts, but the fate of other Americans who went missing in Syria. And this is something that is uh, so personal to not just Secretary Blinken, but also personal to, to President Biden. And this is something that we're going to continue to work around the clock. Just so, just so we understand the timing, by saying we, you mean this administration has offered you in the past three and a half years. Is that the, the case? That is, that is correct. Thanks so much. Yeah. Uh, on Ukraine, uh, with Assistant Secretary O'Brien being uh, in here, do you, can you give us uh, uh, basically the latest update? Do you have a better, uh, better sense of uh, the situation on the ground? Look, um, Alex, our uh, engagement with uh, Kiev and Assistant Secretary O'Brien's visit is continues to be in line with this administration's long support of our Ukrainian partners. Uh, I understand um, he had a number of government-to-government -government engagements on ways in which we can continue to support our Ukrainian partners. Uh, as you saw, I think, late last week, uh, we announced another uh, presidential drawdown authority, uh, and I expect we'll continue to stand shoulder to shoulder with our Ukrainian partners. I don't have any um, announcement or anything to preview right now, though. On the, on the issue of the question of untying Ukrainian hands, you know, we've been raising the past couple of days, and your answer has been, you know, basically this is based on the, you know, situation on the ground, the military situation. Now, with Ukraine uh, changing the front line well back into Russia during the past couple of days, why still letting Putin enjoy sanctuary inside Russia. So I'm just not going to preview any uh, actions, Alex, and I will let the, our Ukrainian partners speak to their own military operations. Uh, 